Hi, welcome to Mirror Patience. Today we will be talking about charity and selflessness. I recently came to learn about a man by the name of Giuseppe Moscati, and I was just so amazed by how charitable and how selfless he was. So I'm excited to share about him and his life with you. Giuseppe Moscati was born in Italy in 1880s. He became a doctor and a scientist. It was said that he was so smart that he could hear a list of symptoms by his patients and accurately diagnose them and also successfully treat many illnesses that were thought to be incurable during that time. Now, mind you, this is happening during a time where they didn't have the same technology and resources that are available in a hospital setting today. He treated both the rich and the, and the poor patients, and he didn't charge any, any, any money or he didn't charge for, uh, for, his, uh, for his poor patients. And so his, his patients, were, his poor patients were able to get the treatment for free. And oftentimes they were given an envelope with the prescription for the medicine that he wanted them to get, but also with some money so that they could actually afford to get the medicine that he prescribed for them. He went out of his way in other ways as well, such as when if if like the patient were in, in the home and was unable to come to the hospital sit, setting because of being because of being very sick, he would go to them at the home and provide services for them at the home setting. He was also a man of prayer. He went to Mass daily and he offered thanks to the Lord daily and he would incorporate the, the faith of his patients into the treatment itself. So he was able to recognize that his patients have a physical need and needed to be treated for their illness, but he was also able to recognize that his patients have a soul and he would provide treatment in such a humane and holistic way. Now one could say that he went through his day or he completed his day in such an extraordinary way and it was in 1906 that really demonstrated how charitable, how selfless he was. He, there was a volcanic eruption in 1906, and I never been in a volcanic eruption ever, and thank God. But I could only imagine that there are people fearful, and there are people who are, um, and it's actually like really hard to. Um, breathe in the air because of the because of the gas and also because of, because of the ashes but he was able to think of others in this time of such such chaos and he went into the nursing home and he brought out the elderly patients that was there were still in the building and he brought out the the paralytic and he was able to do this just before the the building just came tumbling down um, right during this time because of the volcanic eruption and he him and his patients at that time were safe and they were able to carry on with their life it was in 1927 that he eventually ended up dying and in 1987 saint john saint john paul ii who canonized Giuseppe Moscati as a saint. Now, one could be tempted to look at his story, look at his who he is as a person and just think, yeah, he just had the, the, the gene to being so charitable and so selfless, but not quite. He wrote in a letter to one of his interns this quote, and I absolutely love this quote. Um, he said, not science, but charity has transformed the world. And he explained that few men will go down in history as men of science, 
but we can all leave the world in a better place through our act of charity. So you and I, by the grace of God, are fully capable of living a life of charity and selflessness. Take care.